Hey guys, as you can see on the shelf behind me, I recently got the UK limited edition Doctor Who Blu-ray box sets for seasons 18 and 19. And since I already have the US versions, I figured today I would take a close look at what the UK season 18 box set looks like and what the US season 18 box set looks like. Now this is really gonna be in depth. It's not for the faint of heart. So if you wanna watch something shorter but still Blu-ray related, you can click or tap on the card right there to check out the unboxing that I did of these sets. Today's schedule includes We'll be looking at the slip cases for both of these sets. We'll also be looking at the artwork for both of these sets. We'll be looking at the individual disc artwork as well as the booklet. And finally, we will be comparing these side by side to see the size differences. This is a deep dive review for the biggest of Blu-ray fans, so I cannot wait to take a closer look at season 18 today on the Doctor Who Guide. that you can buy for Doctor Who. Hey guys, welcome back to the Doctor Who Guide, a community of fans working together to help each other grow their knowledge, collection, and connection with other Doctor Who fans. I'm just your host, Alex Patterson, and today we're taking a real close look at Season 18. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look. So this is our Season 18 set. Uh, this is what it looks like from the front. This is from the side here. From the back, you have all of this lovely information about what's inside. You have a list of the brand new special features as well as some of the old special features and some information about the release. Here you have it on its side with the rating down there. Now the slipcase just goes up to here on the box set so you can actually pull it out. The back it goes all the way up so this is what you end up getting with the set. As you can see here, the set does end up taking wear and tear. I mean, that's what a slipcase is there for. But if you're really trying to keep it in good condition, oh, look, this is what's on the bottom. You get like a mini version of that on the bottom there. That's really, really cool. And here we have it, the incredible, beautifully designed season 18. Lee Binding once again has outdone himself with incredible artwork. This is the front. Here we have Doctor Who, the collection on the side. On the back, we have this incredible piece of artwork from Warrior's Gate. On the side, this is what you have here. That's the code, and there's the side of the set. On the top, you have Doctor Who, the collection, season 18. And on the bottom, there's nothing. So let's take a closer look at this artwork. Here we've got the incredible Tom Baker waving goodbye to us, uh, looking like it's his time to go. There he is with the wonderful bug eyes and the incredible uh, question mark lapels. In the background, we have stars, very reminiscent of the 80s theme. And then down below, we have some of the characters and villains from the series with beautiful starry galaxy backgrounds. We've got Anthony Ainley as the master there with his tissue compression eliminator. The Watcher in the background there, as well as Melker, a Marshman, and a Fomazi. Absolutely adore it. On the side, you see that same artwork again underneath a Blu-ray disc logo. This, of course, lines up with the rest of the sets. You have BBC Doctor Who, the collection there season 18 and then on the back i love this piece of artwork i mean up top here we have more of the stars reminiscent of that theme we have of course this incredible castle from warrior's gate with the tardis there ramana and canine they're getting ready to move on to the next chapter of their life after saying goodbye to the doctor i mean what a brilliant piece of artwork let's look inside this set here we have the incredible inside. All right, let's start with this side with the disc art. Disc one is the Leisure Hive, and this is a closer look at the artwork. Disc two is Megloss, and this is a closer look at the beautiful artwork there. Disc three is Full Circle, and here we have the Doctor and Canine in the Marsh. Disc four is State of Decay, and we have the Fourth Doctor and Romana. Next up is Warrior's Gate, and that has a very interestingly designed TARDIS and those eyes in the darkness. Then we have the Keeper of Trocken on disc 6. Then we have Logopolis, and I think this is my favorite design of any disc. The artwork just has such a power to it because of the story behind it. Finally, we have disc 8, which is Canine and Company and some bonus features. We have, of course, Canine and Sarah Jane Smith. Behind it is Tom Baker, straight out of the theme. What fun! With all the discs over, we'll take a look at this, which is absolutely brilliantly designed artwork. I mean, we've got the TARDIS, the old Tom Baker from Leisure Hive. You can even see they bothered to put in the details of what's like been drawn on the TARDIS with this piece of chalk there. 
Uh, just incredible artwork once again. And I love that in between the discs and this booklet holder, the artwork continues and, and just works seamlessly with this. So the way this works, there is a little piece of Velcro here that you open to reveal the artwork behind which is just absolutely beautiful you've got tom baker with a watcher behind him and he's contemplating the cloister bells maybe his regeneration death oh my gosh so much there i mean the artwork is just spectacular i love his outfit incredible and it opens up to reveal the booklet. Once you take the booklet out, you have this incredible display of the TARDIS interior. And I mean, you could display an action figure in here. This is just so incredible. This is the booklet and it's absolutely spectacular. Once again, beautiful artwork. I mean, just amazing. On the back, we have this incredible picture of Tom Baker with the TARDIS in the background. I mean, this is just amazing. We've got incredible information about the show this tells you what is on each disc tells you a little bit about the development of each story you've got artwork it's about three pages per story talks about the reception sort of the after image now we're on to meg loss which of course features the return of the incredible uh jacqueline hill Again, wonderful artwork. I mean, this is like a mini magazine that you can just spend, you know, your afternoon reading and really looking through and learning so much. It would be so much fun to just, you know, pick this up and before you, you know, watch an episode or maybe afterwards, like it gives you such a great appreciation about the entire story. And I mean, incredible artwork there. Got an illustration here with some spiders. It's just absolutely incredible. Disc four here for State of Decay. This one was a fun episode. I watched it kind of recently with some friends and we were like, those three vampire people are like squad goals. Like we just need to pose randomly like they do. It was just so fun. And I love this artwork. I don't know who did it. It's most likely the incredible Lee Binding, but I, I can't a uh, promise that is accurate information please do comment down below this is now onto warrior's gate which is just a fun store i mean look at that what artwork you know like that's incredible you get to learn about each story and it's just so cool that having a new box set release can increase your appreciation not just for the classics and the greats so look at the master there but also for the stories that were underrated. And we're actually coming up on a story that isn't necessarily underrated, but it's one that I was underrating. And I, I mean, look at that artwork. And I, seeing this in theaters, which, you know, if, if you've seen my video at Slogopolis, seeing this in theaters just really increased my, my appreciation for this story. I just love it now. It's, just, it's amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite regeneration stories really does stand the test of time and i love the new effects that they've added in i thought for the most part they they really worked and weren't super noticeable it's cool to have canine and company finally on uh, a release within the same year uh, we had it for years on the invisible enemy dvd um, and it's just cool to have this here you've got bonus material pictures of the writers from the writers room matthew waterhouse there uh quotes and pictures there and then of course it closes up with this that's what the booklet looks like you just put it back in there close up the TARDIS doors and there you have it that is the complete inside so this is the UK set with slipcase and this is the US set with slipcase now you can see these are lined up right next to each other how much smaller this set is now bear in mind when these came out they cost exactly the same or near to the same amount to get this as you did this. And now the US sets are coming out months later. The value proposition for the US sets are not good. This is what they look like from the side. I mean, you can see how much smaller that looks. I mean, the US sets would definitely be better if you are a minimalist, you know, if you actually wanted to save space on the shelf. These are the two sets compared. So this is what both sets look like without their respective slip cases. You have clean artwork on here and then not clean artwork here. We've got uh, Tom Baker, Complete Season 7. That's the first difference. Um, it could be more confusing to collectors, but 
Maybe not, because if you get Peter Davison season one, that's less confusing than season 19 and people thinking where are the other 18 box sets. You know, that's just a difference. Um, here's the binding. You have the image halfway up. Uh, you can see there. there is some quite a bit of difference there. Um, and then this is what's on the back. Uh, this is more similar to what the slipcase cover has on the back. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. And then there's nothing on this side, it's just plain blue. So looking at the slipcase first, we have incredible artwork by Lee Binding. Really looks nice and sharp on this printed slipcase. It says Tom Baker Complete Season 7 8 disc set. This is what's on the side here. You of course get uh, Tom Baker midway up. As you can see, the heads do line up, as does the text, so that's quite lovely when you have multiple sets. Here you have information about what's on the set. This is pretty much the same as what you get on the UK slipcase. And then a little slot here for the ASIN number to show. And then on the other side you have the same thing. Next up we have the box set. Of course, you know, this is the artwork that we saw on the UK set. I mean, beautiful. You've got all of these lovely baddies in the middle there, Tom Baker saying goodbye, Doctor Who logo. We don't get a clean version of this. You do, of course, get the logo and the same stuff on this side, and then the same information here. Now let's open this set up. On the inside, initially, instead of a booklet holder, we have booklet clasps, and uh, this, instead of a booklet, we have a little pamphlet. Uh, this is the information that you see on here. Basically the disc contents, uh, I do believe in more detail than what you get on the back of the set. Um, but then that's that's pretty much all there is to see there. You now have disc one, which uh, is the same artwork as the front. Disc two, which is also the same artwork, except as you can see here, this is darker. So I only have like variations in color and, and, tone, and lightness and darkness here. Um, it is pretty impressive how many discs they fit in a small space, but you know, this is their, the discs are split up the same. It is kind of hard to close this set. Kind of have to make sure everything's out of the way. But that's all there is to the set. That's the, uh, you know, seconds of fun that you get. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my deep dive into season 19, then you can click or tap the video that's just there. You can also click or tap the video right there because YouTube thinks that's the perfect video for you to watch. You can also click or tap the round icon to subscribe because we have new videos coming out every single Saturday. And you can click or tap the square icon because that will take you to a continually updated list of every single classic Doctor Who Blu-ray. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!